I think it's been very, very interesting, very, very enjoyable. It's been interesting from a tactical point of view, what, what Jose, the way he sets his team up with Sissoko uh, on one side and, and, and Lo Celso being in the middle of the park. You know, you think he's very light on, on midfield players there and Lo Celso has been lost a little bit at the time and Heisberg's had to pick up a little bit of slack, but it's been very, very interesting the way both teams had set up. Liverpool went one up and they probably deserved it at this point. What do you think of this goal? Yeah, I think they were good. I mean, they weren't rampant all over Tottenham. Tottenham weren't as pinned in as what we thought they would be. They had a, a good chunk of this ball. The Celso here, uh, this is a weakness we're talking about, a little one-two round and a bit of a flimsy tackle. It's still a very, very unfortunate uh, goal to concede. If you just watch uh, the Celso here, you know, a, a more aware, defensively aware player doesn't get done there. And even if he does, he gets a second bite of the cherry and he, he kind of makes a meal of that as well. Very, very milky, uh, that from the Celso. But having said that, it wasn't the end of the world. It breaks to uh, Mo Salah. Two defenders do great, Alder Weald and Dyer. And they're touch unfortunate there with the with the deflection up over it and Luis has got no chance. Yeah, Kenny, what do you think? Would you are you, are you more would you be more concerned from a defensive point of view watching that as opposed to the quality of the, the move? I would, because I'm absolutely flabbergasted at how Marino set up his team. I, I just literally can't can't believe I'm absolutely amazed that he's disrupted that partnership of Suzoko and Hoiberg in the centre of that midfield has been absolutely integral to how well they've been playing of late. I just don't see the reason behind if it. I, if, I was to, if I was to offer you an explanation of what I think Jose is doing is he thinks that a, a, the majority of Liverpool's strength is in the wide areas and up front. So he's put his defensive players there. Liverpool aren't a team that will pass and cut through you and, 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 and you know really trouble you coming through the middle of the park. A little bit. So I think but, he's gone light in the middle of the park and gone strong wide. But they passed for the first goal, of course, Jones. They did a 1-2 battle of Celso and that's what led to the opening goal. And Mane for a lot of the time is, comes 22 30 yards in off the line into those central yeah. areas where Sissoko could actually go and deal with him but he's a little bit isolated well, the on the right hand side a big one and I think that if you put Sissoko in the middle of the park you've got to put Lo Celso or, or, or someone wide and you will get torched you, don't put, you just play a normal 4-3-3 which has served them so well of late I can't believe they are at one he's all deviated all away from I, 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 I think yeah. they've not been terrible Tottenham they've been pretty decent let's have a look at San and a nice, uh, nice goal from Tottenham point of view again I'm sure defensively you wouldn't be too happy for Liverpool but this happened quick we didn't see how it came about but you knew automatically without even seen what had happened. Now, I don't blame the young Reese Williams here. He's the closest defender to Son. This is the Liverpool ethos, how they play, that high defensive line. But why you keep persevering with this for two centre-halves who have no speed on the recovery, I really don't understand. Joe Gomez or Van Dijk in that position has a chance of getting back in contact with Son. Reese Williams and Fabinho doesn't. That whole uh, defensive unit from Liverpool should be dropping off early into the space and narrowing up. If that means you give the ball to the feet of Bergwin and Son, so be it. But you've still got your defensive unit intact. This is a principle which Liverpool adhere to. But I said before again, they have to modify their approach in the absence of uh, Van Dijk and Gomez. They're not doing it and they got exposed. I'm going to give a bit of credit for that pass as well because I think it was a lovely true ball. You still have to exploit whatever weaknesses are I mean, there. Bergwin created a little bit of... Uh, kind of disarray when he went inside and I think it was Trent went inside with Bergwin and left the centre half exposed there I think if he, if he lets Bergwin go into the middle of the park uh, Young Phillips can deal with him and he can stay with Son so, but Tottenham created that with an internal runner and Son spinning down the side so it's a good play from Tottenham Liverpool had half a shout for penalties or anything in this? I don't think so I think a couple of weeks ago it could well have been given but I think there's a memo gone out now saying it's getting ridiculous the amount of penalties yeah, they're, they're slightly given. more lenient than they were a few yeah, weeks yeah, ago yeah 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 I don't think that's a penalty you know at, at any stage to be honest I mean, if his hand isn't out, it's almost on Mo Salah's shoulder, um, if you watch here. So, Kenny? No, not for me. No. It's not a penalty. No, that's kind of a natural position. Both are touching for the ball. So, no, no, uh, right decision. Yeah, I'll take one more look at the replay, but none of you are giving this... Uh, no, no, it's, it's well, you are, your, your heart is in your mouth as a Spurs fan at the same time because of you know, the, the way ago, some of the yeah, decisions have been, yeah, has changed around a little bit. Were you impressed with some of Liverpool's attacking play? Chance to yeah, I think the balance of Liverpool the team has, uh, has looked better. I spoke with that midfield three, Curtis Jones in particular for me. He's really matured, probably no more than a squad player this season, but he's been, uh, he's been very impressive again today. These are the number of chances which Liverpool have created. Uh, they've looked a more threatening uh, uh, on the attack. Great little scoop pass here. Andy Robertson, we're used to that. Getting his head up, lovely little uh, ball uh, back to Salah. Just doesn't make the right connection there. But uh, at times, yeah, it's been fluent, uh, the Liverpool attacks. For me, you know, some lovely touches in those central areas. Front players have been linking up. Henderson and Wijnaldum rock solid in that central midfield area. So I think, generally speaking, Klopp will be uh, very pleased uh, with the Liverpool performance. Just kind of switched off. Uh, made some uh, mistakes in the, in the build up to the Spurs goal but generally speaking I think their overall play has been good I think Liverpool have been really really good you know, played some great football or created some very very good chances um, I think what we 
great about Liverpool is, you know, they were doing okay up until they scored. When they scored, they really cranked it up, which is a sign of a really, really good team, that the, the goal gave them a kind of a, a, fresh, a fresh impetus to, to take hold of the game. Unlike Tottenham, if they got the nose in front, you know, they would have re- reverted back to defensive. Good news.